Good evening. Welcome to San Pablo City Medical Society First Town Hall Meeting with a topic on PMA Membership and Benefits, an update and review. Objectives of this session is to provide the members of the San Pablo City Medical Society with information regarding the PMA membership and benefits, particularly to discuss the following such as general membership information, membership fees and dues, mutual aid, death and disability benefits, and lastly, Good standing requirements for members. As for the PMA membership and good standing, members shall be positioned duly licensed to practice medicine in the Philippines and whose names have been entered into the roster of the members of the PMA. It shall be through a recognized component medical society of the PMA, and the rights, privileges, and obligation shall be governed by its bylaws. There are four PMA membership categories, such as regular, life, emeritus, and non-resident members. Regular members pays the usual yearly membership and other dues of the PMA, plus the local component society dues. Life members. They are regular members who had at least 10 years of continuous membership in the PMA and pay life membership fee of 20,000 pesos. For the emeritus members, they are regular members of good standing for at least 15 consecutive years that have reached the age of 65. They are judged to have been worthy and meritorious members of the PMA. They are recommended by the component society to which they belong and so confirmed by the resolution of the board. As an emeritus member, annual, national, and local membership dues are waived while enjoying all the rights and privileges of a regular member. To be eligible as life and emeritus member, the continuous membership means an interrupted and continuous payment of dues. For those who avail an amnesty or had been reinstated. Continuous membership start on the date a member is reinstated. For the non-resident members, they are Filipino physician licensed to practice medicine in the Philippines and residing in foreign countries. They are eligible for membership through a component society upon application and payment of dues and assessment as provided for in the bylaws. But they are exempted from the requirements of the Commission on CME for the duration of their residence abroad. A 
PMA member shall hold membership in only one component society, which shall be either in the place of his residence or place of practice. If a member wants to transfer to another component society, they should provide a written application for transfer submitted to the secretary of the component society to which the members belongs. There should be a letter of acceptance by the component society to which the member wishes to transfer and the receiving society shall notify the secretary general of the PMA. For the Certificate of Good Standing, San Pablo City Medical Society issues Certificate of Good Standing to members who satisfy the following requirement. A. Payment of annual local and national membership dues. B. Attendance in the general membership meeting, Christmas party, or annual induction of officers. C. Participation in any advocacy project or fundraising activities. D. Participation in CME like postgraduate, scientific meeting, and stump regional assembly. And lastly, E. Participation in SPCMS medical mission or the Medicine Week activities. All five criteria for Certificate of Good Standing must be fulfilled. Non-fulfillment of Criteria B without valid reason will pay 1,000 pesos fine. A non-fulfillment of one criteria of C, D, and E will pay 1,500 fine in addition to the annual dues, and this is scored or graded annually. For the next topic, Membership Fees and Dues. Income earned by the PMA from the following, such as rental and facility fees, convention souvenir program and boat exhibit, doctors in accommodation, sale of copy table book, sale of masks and PPEs, sale of provisional receipts, and other sale of goods and services are subjected to a 12% VAT. However, membership dues, affiliation dues, and convention registration fees are VAT exempt. Updates on financial matters. Sponsorships to PMA for advocacies, assemblies, and other events should be supported by a written agreement. Payment for affiliation dues should be made on or before November 30 of each year. Funds due to component societies such as sponsorship excess remittances and others should be deposited in the CS official bank accounts. In case the CS has no bank account, it shall be deposited to the personal joint account of the current president and the treasurer. PMA encouraged the component society to register their office in the Securities and Exchange Commission and Bureau of Internal Revenues to have secured an official receipt to be used for their sponsorships and local dues and to be able to open their office bank account. All outstanding dues to PMA should be paid within one month 
from the date the billing statement was received. Otherwise, collection should be commenced immediately. How to pay for PMA membership and other dues. Component Society Treasurer will deposit or fund transfer through PMA official bank accounts listed below. Or A PMA member can directly deposit through bills payment using the name of doctor and PRC number to the Union Bank account of PMA. This form is being used by our Component Society Treasurer to report our remittances to PMA. And the remittance report and other concern are emailed to pilnedas at gmail.com or pilnedas at yahoo.com. PMA official accounting numbers are listed below and you may look for Miss Ann or Miss Sarah for remittances or payment of juice and Miss Joseph for check disbursement. The current PMA fees as follows. For annual regular membership juice, it is 1,500 pesos. For life membership juice, it is 20,000 pesos. And for the special assessment, it is 100 pesos. For San Pablo City Medical Society, annual local juice is 1,000 pesos. And for the new members, ad admission fees is 300 pesos. Breakdown of regular membership juice goes to 58% to admin fee or for the operational activities of PMA, 40% to mutual aid fund or used to fund members' death, disability, and legal aid claims, and 2% to financial assistance fund in case of disasters and calamities. The 20,000 pesos paid for life membership juice goes 100% to physician trust fund. For the mutual aid, death, and disability benefits. PMA has a commission on mutual aid benefits with three committees, such as Committee on Death and Disability Benefits Program, Committee on Arbitration and Legal Aid Program, and Committee on Health Benefit Program. The functions of the Commission are to study and research on programs and matters pertaining to the welfare and benefits of the PMA, to organize and establish mutual aid programs that will promote legal protection and legal assistance, debt benefits, disability benefits, health benefits, and other programs that will assist the members to formulate policies, direct, and supervise the implementation of the mutual aid programs, and lastly, to recommend measures to the Board of Governors that shall improve the benefits accruing from the programs and shall safeguard the viability of the trust funds. The funds of the Commission should be placed in a trust fund and cannot be appropriated for any purpose except for the granting of mutual aid benefit 
of each member. These funds, however, may be invested with maximum returns through investment portfolio as may be approved by the Commission, the Committee on Finance, and the Board of Governors. Resolution number 1, series of 2021-22, to 22, stated, A member in good standing who fails to apply for a disability benefit during his illness and who eventually expires forfeits his or her claims for disability benefits but shall entitle the hers to apply for death benefits within two years from the time of death. There are five exemptions for the disability claims. Number one, in case of widespread calamities declared or undeclared war and armed aggression, where a great number of members are affected and the viability of the program is endangered, in which event the benefits under this program may be correspondingly reduced or cancelled as determined by the Commission and approved by the Boards of Governors. Number two, disability arising from self-inflicted injuries. Number three, complication arising from cosmetic and aesthetic surgery. Number four, obstetrical and sterilization procedure and its complication. And lastly, number five, no benefits should be given to any disability claim if the injury or illness commences prior to membership or reinstatement. Reinstated members by amnesty receive mutual aid benefits as for Within the first year of enrollment, no benefits Within the second year of enrollment, 25% Within the third year of enrollment, 50% Within the fourth year of enrollment, 75% And within the fifth year of enrollment, 100% While new members shall receive mutual aid on a staggered basis as follows. Within the first year of enrollment, return of payment. Within the second year of enrollment, 25%. Within the third year of enrollment, 15%. Within the fourth year of enrollment, 75%. And within the fifth year of enrollment, 100%. For legal aid benefits, effective April 7, 2014, each duly qualified member shall be entitled to a legal aid benefit of 40000 which may be given in part or in full or changed depending upon the availability of funds, recommendation of the Commission on Mutual Aid, and the approval of the Board of Gover Governors. Each duly qualified member shall be entitled to the benefits of legal aid to one case every five years, provided that the case do not arise from the same incident. For the disability benefit, members who have already claimed disability benefit before October 14, 2012 are no longer entitled to claim for another disability benefit after five years. This is not applied retroactively. Disability benefit claims must be filed within six months from the start of disability. Otherwise, benefits shall be denied. Specific guidelines for causes of disability can be viewed in the Mutual Aid Code Guidelines. Effective April 7, 2014, each member shall be entitled to a disability benefit of 25,000 pesos. 
Disability benefit can be availed twice in a lifetime, at least five years apart. For the death benefits, effective April 7, 2014, each member is entitled to a death benefit of 50,000 pesos, which however may be changed depending upon the availability of funds, the recommendation of the Commission of Mutual Aid, and the approval of the Board of Governors. PMA source of funds for the benefits are derived primarily from a portion of the dues paid as member of the association. It shall represent 40% of the current membership of both regular and life members. Donations specifically intended for its mutual aid programs. Our component society, SPCMS, also provides financial benefits to its members. Each duly qualified member should be entitled to a debt benefit of 10,000 pesos and disability benefit of 15,000 pesos, which may be given in part or in full or change depending upon the availability of funds and needs the recommendation of the President of the Society and the approval of the Local Board of Executive Council. Requirements to avail the benefits Number 1. Letter Application Number 2. Medical Certificate of Attending Physicians Number 3. Copies of Acceptable Laboratory Results Diagnostic collaborating the sickness or diagnosis. Number four, certificate of good standing. And number five, photocopy of that certificate for deceased members and marriage contract for married members. For disability, it can be availed twice in a lifetime or at least six months apart. The benefit shall be paid directly to the member or to his or her duly authorized representative. And this ends the session. Thank you for your attention.